Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with Mac Mos Now. You know, a lot of people love to have multiple monitors with their Macs. All you need to do in most cases is hook a second monitor up to the monitor port on, say, an iMac or a MacBook, and you've got a second monitor. But what if you wanted to add more? Or what if you wanted to add one to a Mini? Well, the only way to do that is through the USB port. There is a product called DisplayLink that will allow you to add a monitor through your USB port. I had a chance to catch up with them at the Macworld Expo. Let's take a look. Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. So say you've got a Mac Mini or a laptop and you want to have a whole bunch of monitors hooked up to it. You can't just add a video card to it, but there is a way to do it through USB. I'm here with Jason from DisplayLink and he's going to tell us how. Hi. So DisplayLink's a chip and software company and we make a technology for USB displays. And we've been doing this on Windows for a while, but we're, uh, we're going to bring it to the Mac for the first time. So basically you've got an idea here. USB in, uh, our chip inside, and then DVI or VGA out. So you can get one of these adapters and if you've got a monitor kicking around, easily add it to your Mac, up to four monitors. We've also got the technology in docking stations. So if you have a MacBook Pro or a, a, uh, a MacBook Air or a MacBook, this is great because there's no such thing as a docking station for those notebooks. Right. So what you can do here is you can do USB docking stations. So here's a product from Kensington, the SD200V. And uh, you can see here, you plug in just your USB and then you've got your, uh, your extra peripherals, your USB, your mouse keyboard, your display, your audio, and you just plug in USB into your MacBook. Cool. And uh, now over here you've got, you got the Mini and it's hooked up to four monitors at one time. This technology is also built into some uh, Samsung display. So here's a Samsung 19 inch and, uh, and a 22 inch. It's called UbiSync technology with Samsung. And what we've done here is we've taken a Mac Mini. We got one USB cable coming out. We're not even plugging in the DVI here and it's going to this monitor. And then out of here we're uh, plugged into the hub here to this monitor and chained to this one and chained to this one through this adapter. And so you can see we've added four monitors to a Mac Mini. So you can theoretically get like one of these, uh, get a couple of them and have yeah. a couple different monitors hooked up. Absolutely. If you've got a monitor already around uh, around the house, you can use something like this. Or if you're buying a new monitor, you can get something with the Samsung UbiSync technology, our, our display link stuff inside. And, uh, and you can connect up multiple screens to your Mac. And what's very cool about this is, I mean, uh, Apple's done lots of neat stuff uh, to make it easier to deal with lots of information on your screen, like spaces. But space is even better when you go to multiple monitors, because you can see you've got a crazy amount of spaces here. You can move windows between spaces like this, just in a standard way, and, uh, and it just works on displaying technology. Awesome. It's great. Now, uh, that, that unit, you guys uh, provide the technology. And the manufacturers like Kensington are providing the units. That's a Kensington unit that's coming out soon? Uh, actually, it's out already. It's, it's out already. Out, called the SD200V. You can buy these in shops. Samsung 940UX you can buy today. And these have Windows drivers available. But the big thing we're doing is we're going to support the back fully and truly. So the first drivers are going to be available in March. Free download from the website. So if you wanted to, so your website would list all the products that have your technology in it. What's, what's the website? Displaylink.com. So it's displaylink, all one word, dot com. And if you go to the shop, there's a section with all of the different products, all of our customers there. You can find out information about them, where to buy them. And, uh, and all of the USB products are going to be supported by the driver coming out in March. Cool. Now Displaylink technology is pretty cheap. In fact, this IO Gear version costs only $65 today at Amazon. But here's the catch. The Mac drivers aren't available yet. They expect to be available in March according to what's on the website. When they are we hope to be able to get one of these in and try it out. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.